Walmart's got knockoff solo stoves. Before you buy it, let me try it and let you know if it's worth the money or if the product's just funny. <laughs> How's that? that, that that's really crazy. But was it good? I mean, I'm laying down in Walmart on the floor. What rhymes with money? That's better than funny. All right, so let's get these and get a fire going. All right, we're back at the Spackman Firehouse, trademark pending. Before we take a look at the backpacking version of the solo stove knockoffs from Walmart, let's take a look at their fire pit version. This is comparable to the solo stove Ranger in size, but not in design. It comes with a grate for cooking, the biggest difference between this and the Solo Stove Ranger, I haven't had it apart since I used it, is that it comes apart and it's collapsible. It has an ash pan in the bottom to collect your ashes. <laughs> oh, there's some ashes going into my coffee. This comes in a cool little carry case. It's very simple to put together. You pretty much just put it together. It comes with instructions if you don't know how to do this. It goes together just like any other collapsible wood gasification stove. This is the fire ring that goes on top. I was expecting warpage on this. I was expecting this to warp. But so far, all I have is a dent in it. Now this dent is my fault. I wanted to put a log that completely fit down into this after I was burning it for hours and the metal had expanded and the ring stuck to the top. So when I got it off, it went flying and it hit the ground. Oh, it hit these bricks on the bottom and it gave it a little dent. That doesn't affect it at all whatsoever. The gasification effect on this stove is pretty cool. It works pretty well. This is not a big fire pit, so you're not gonna have bonfires in it, but smaller logs will fit down in here. In order to get the gasification to work properly, you need your fuel to be below these gasification holes, and then the gasification works, and it is pretty darn cool. If you've never used a gasification stove, how it works is the stove sucks in air at the bottom, that air is heated in between the two double walls. Then it comes out these secondary burn holes here, igniting the wood gas that is not combusted completely from the fire, creating jet flames that come out of these holes. I love wood gasification stoves. I love the way they burn. And I've wanted one of these fire pits for my home for a while. Walmart currently has these. These are under $100. A comparable solo stove to this is $265 on Amazon right now. But at Walmart, you can get it for less than $100. The greatest thing about this, you can get a two-year extended warranty for $10. I don't know how good the warranty is, but I did purchase it. If you keep this outside, it might get rusty and worn out. Maybe they'll replace the whole thing within those two years. I'm not sure. We'll find out in time but you can get a warranty on these stoves. Now, the backpack inversion. Currently, I have it stuffed with little sticks. So, we're gonna fire this up and make some coffee. I had it stuffed way too tight with, with sticks. Uh -uh. But I took some of those out. Now it's going strong. So let's make some coffee. One thing I noticed, the pot supports pretty much only support a bigger pot. Even this teapot seems a little small for this stove. If you're using a cup, this stove is not gonna be for you unless you bring something to put across as another grate because otherwise, yeah, it's not gonna fit on this stove. As you can see, the flames are coming right around the teapot and I mean, I'm definitely getting burned <laughs> when I go to grab this. No doubt in my mind, I'm getting burned when I grab this. I don't know how this compares to a solo stove. I don't have a solo stove but this is the same size as the solo stove campfire. It's meant for two to four people cooking, camping. It weighs almost exactly the same. The dimensions are almost exactly the same. The only difference is the pot supports fold in and out on this one versus the solo stove. The solo stove is also straight down where this bottom is tapered in and it has trapezoidal holes instead of circle holes like the solo stove has. Right now, it is rocking. We're gonna have some boiling water here very shortly. I don't see any gasification happening at all right now. There is no smoke coming off of this right now, but no gasification either. The campfire bonfire stove from Walmart. This is pretty cool. I had a fire going in it all day yesterday. It seems like it's gonna hold up pretty well. They're, they are much thicker than I anticipated them being. 
I thought they would be very thin, bendable almost, but they're not. They are pretty darn sturdy. I can't wait until this turns a cool blue color on the outside like it has on the inside. We almost have hot water. That was quick. Frig, burn count one. Jeez. I am pretty excited about both of these stoves. If you ask me, they're worth the money. The small stove at Walmart right now, you can get it for just about 40 bucks. The solo stove version of this is $110 on Amazon right now. So if you're in the market for a budget-friendly gasification smokeless fire pit or campfire stove, go check out Walmarts. Now, they are marketed under Ozark Trail, but their warranty, warranty card says customer care at China. Customer care at China. Yayi.com. So Yayi manufacturer is the actual maker of these stoves. Oop, we got boiling water, folks. And we are putting the fire out. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I was expecting another bird count entry. <laughs> Oh, that coffee smells so good. Look at this campfire going. Now the gasification's happening. Let me show you. Smokey the bear. Only you can prevent forest fires. I'll get back up here. See it right back there? That's all gasification happening. Look how big that flame is. That's a good two foot flame. Look at that. Would you look at that? You can also get the warranty for this little stove. I did not. I feel like I'm gonna use this more often at home or even camping. This one's good for camping when you're not allowed to have a fire. It makes it safer to have a fire. So I'll be using this in places where there's not a fire pit for sure. To load this stove, there is a cutout here. You just start throwing sticks in there or hunks of wood. And here are the folding pot stands. Oh. They fold out from the middle. And this top piece comes off and flips over and goes into the stove for transport and storage. It's a pretty nifty stove. Let me know what you guys think about these stoves from Walmart, these solo stove knockoffs. And if you guys are in the market for a solo stove but you don't wanna spend all the money on solo brand, these might be a good option for you. The bonfire one is cool because it collapses down to half the size of the actual stove. So it's smaller for transporting. It's easier to clean out because it all comes apart. This is pretty nifty. I like the design of this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of these products. Let me know if you would use these products or if you would purchase these products. It's not the cleanest burn, but I don't see any smoke. But there's definitely soot on the pot. So grabbing the handle of this teapot wasn't my actual first burn count. Last night when I was playing with the bonfire version, I touched down here, which I could touch without burning myself, but then my dumb butt touched up here and I, I burnt almost my whole hand. <laughs> I wish I was filming then, but I was just enjoying the fire. So if you end up purchasing these stoves, I don't think you'd be disappointed. So Walmart, take my money.